Nope. Test, test. Here we go. There we go. So how's this rock band? The rock band's awesome. Ah, awesome. I'm horrible at singing, though, so I don't play that much. It's okay. <laughs> so, Jonathan, what are you up to these days? Uh, well, just, I mean, I've been playing a lot of Quake Live here and there, mostly doing free-for-alls, just to uh, play the game and have a lot of fun. Um, play a little bit of Call of Duty 5. Um, oh, other than that, though, you know, working on my company, and uh, I get, I'm going to Germany uh, this next week for GamesCon. Then I go up to IFA in Berlin and do some more shows, so just continue to promote uh, and build products for gamers with my product line and so forth, but uh, still playing a lot and, um, you know, just kind of hanging out. I wanted to see how uh, Sermi was going to do, and I sponsored Kilston to come here and compete and play, so, you know, just uh, trying to get back in the scene a little bit and uh, help some of the guys out in the community. No temptation for you just to, you know, get in the tournament and just sign up and play? Uh, not, not right now, you know, I'm kind of waiting for uh, the right moment and the right time to come back and play in the next tournament, so uh, I think it's mostly just timing for like, uh, you know, for prize money and media and exposure and so forth, so that's kind of what I'm looking for. Is that what you mean when you say the right moment? Yeah. Yeah. So the uh, ESL uh, season was just announced for the Intel Extreme Masters. Yeah. Uh, that'll have Quake Live. Uh, is that potentially the time when uh, Fatality or Michael Schumacher will, uh, will come back out to, uh, to try again? Uh, well, you know, you never know. You know, I'm just, uh, I love playing the game and so forth. I just have to see what my opportunities are and what, what, uh, what's out there. So if uh, it's a viable choice and so forth, I might be up for it. So what do you think about Quake Live? I think it's awesome. I think they put the game back how it's supposed to be. Um, I hated every patch after 1.17. Uh, I thought they messed the net code up a lot and just everything about it was messed up. So I really love how the game feels right now. I love playing it every day when I'm at home or even the BIOC here. So, um, so when you do come back, whenever that will be, you just admitted you're playing all the time at home. So we're going to expect big things from you off the bat. Well, if I come back to play, I'll come back to win. I'm not coming back to do anything else. So um, I'm, very, uh, I'm very serious when I come to play in tournaments. If I come to play, I'm coming to win. I'm not doing anything else. So now how do you compare Quake Live uh, to Quake 4, uh, Painkiller, and Quake 3? And Quake AVP Li 2 doesn't count, so... Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Quake Live and Panko are probably the uh, best two games ever. Uh, ever. Oh, ever. Off to Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Mm. <laughs> 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 no, no, but I, I, uh, I, I love uh, Quake Live. Quake 3 was an awesome game, but Quake Live is awesome. Uh, Panko was an amazing game. I loved Painkiller because there's so much hand-eye coordination, reflexes, timing, strategy, and just very... Uh, fast-paced game, so I really liked it a lot. Now, uh, on the whole, talk us through, obviously you go to these trade shows and do the events uh, you know, to, to promote your products and whatnot, but what else is, uh, is there in the life of Fatality? Uh, well, you know, I've been playing a little bit of poker here and there. I, I moved to Vegas, um, so I've been playing a little bit there. I got sponsored by Full Tilt Poker to, to play, so they're buying me into tournaments and so forth, so I'm going over to uh, Europe and possibly playing one of those. Um, other than that, you know, just... Uh, I spend most of my time playing games still. Uh, I mean, I play a little bit of sports, like golf here and there and so forth, but uh, I would say I probably play like two to six hours a day. All right. Uh, and Quake how Live. are you at poker? Huh? How are you at poker? Uh, well, I make a profit because of the deal I got. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, but I, otherwise? I, I would say I said overall, you know, kind of break even overall. I mean, is the goal to become like someone like Elkie who went from – a professional gamer. Yeah, and I actually I spent a lot of time with Elkie. Uh, you know, we spent Fourth of July together uh, over at uh, Durr's place, and uh, we partied a lot there. And you know, I'm looking forward to competing at some of the same tournaments he does. So um, he says, you know, being a gamer is very easy to trans transition to a poker player. So uh, I think it's just breaking the game down, trying to figure out how to beat your opponent, and each opponent is different, so you have to beat him a different way. Just like you do in Quake, you know, Sturmies are uh, really good with the rail guns, so you have to learn how to beat him in different areas. Uh, and uh, take advantage of those spots. So each player has their strengths and weaknesses, and you just try to find it. Now, of all the facets of your career, the poker, the gaming, the most worrying one for us here up on the microphones is, of course, your <laughs> shoutcasting career. When will we we'll be seeing you back on the airway of shoutcasting matches like you're doing at the CGS? Um, you know, if something comes up, something will come up. But um, right now, I mean, I, I, I enjoy playing more than talking. <laughs> um, I'm not really good at talking anyways, so... <laughs> So I just, uh, I'd rather just uh, have a good time and play some games. So now, uh, getting back into this game, because they're probably going to go live soon, uh, what do you think about this matchup uh, in particular? Do you have any predictions? or? Uh, well, you know, both, on them, T4? both of them are great uh, players. This is pro T4. I personally like the old T4, uh, the original. 
I think it was the best with four damage. It was one of the best maps ever. Uh, but um, I look forward to it. You know, Stormy has an awesome railgun. Um, I think Cypher is really good with strategy, and he has a lot of experience playing. So it's a, I think I'm going to give it kind of a... I don't know. It's going to be tough. It's, it's going to be really close. I'm not sure how much rolling is going to be in the game or not, but I think uh, it's going to be too close. I can't really say. I'm, I'm rooting for Sermi, though, for sure. Now, is the uh, pickup of uh, Kilson for this event, you know, sort of uh, allude to uh, perhaps bringing back the FPO or anything along those lines? No, my idea was just I wanted to sponsor someone in the community. You know, people are having a hard time finding sponsors and getting to uh, different tournaments overseas. Uh, so my goal was kind of try to find a European player and uh, give him a chance to come over here and compete. And it seemed like the community really uh, liked uh, Noctis uh, and Sparty and, um, you know, Kilson. So uh, I got to talk to a lot of those guys, and they recommended uh, Kilson be a good choice. And it seems like everyone was very happy about uh, my choice to pick Kilson and have him fly over here and compete. And he seemed the, the most deserving player as well. So Great. Now I think we're going to uh, get this one started. Do you want to sit with us for the match? And... Uh Rekindle that shoutcasting career of yours? Yeah, sure. <laughs> awesome. Here we go. We're going live in three.